What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and tonight we're gonna be talking about some spicy DLC updates for Modern Warfare 2 early gameplay and even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because we're very close to 100,000 subscribers here on the main channel. Really appreciate it. Also drop a like and turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything going on in Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, Warzone Mobile, and any other future Call of Duty as well. Now, first and definitely foremost, it was confirmed if you're an Xfinity internet user, go ahead and check your Xfinity rewards and deals page on your account because they're giving away the Modern Warfare 2 Battle Pass for free for any of those customers out there. Now, I know this probably won't apply to every Xfinity customer, but I do often see people out there that have Xfinity Internet getting rewards like this for Call of Duty and even other games out there. So check that out and let me know down below in the comments if you managed to get a free Season 1 Battle Pass. Now, today we got a showcase trailer regarding the Modern Warfare 2 PlayStation exclusivity deal this year in which you'll be getting monthly double XP events up to two additional loadout slots, 25% more weapon XP with a PlayStation Party bonus as well as confirmation that you'll get five bonus battle token tier skips when you do play the game over on playstation and there will be free combat packs every season we got our glimpse of the very first combat pack coming very soon it's not out just yet at time of recording this video but it will feature a oni revenger blueprint there we have some other cosmetics like the demon fang the oni oracle weapon skin then we have an animated calling card an emblem and even a charm followed by a new operator skin for the man himself oni who is also playstation exclusive until late october of 20 2023. Now, also in the background, enjoy some third-person Warzone 2 gameplay. I still can't believe this LTM exists, and I call it an LTM, but I am certainly crossing my fingers that this mode stays permanent for Almazra. It's kind of funny because over at COD Next, when we first got to play third-person multiplayer, I immediately thought, what about a third-person Warzone 2 mode or a third-person DMZ option? And luckily, they either listened to us right after that event or they already had this third-person mode in mind ready to go for release. I'm so happy it's already out. I thought it would have been maybe a post-launch update in a future season but no the mode is a lot of fun obviously reminds us heavily of like cod mobile battle royale or other third person games out there if you play more than just call of duty the mode's a ton of fun a lot of people out there don't know how to really play third person that well so you'll probably get easier lobbies when hopping onto a match of br but now when it comes to our first major story here a soccer ltm is actually coming to mono warfare 2 multiplayer so remember that report from the ghost of hope where he claimed that a map and mode were going to be a part of this world cup crossover coming to season one yeah well that report ended up being true it's more than just three operator packs featuring three different athletes we have something really special coming to the game very soon now we also have an insider gaming article talking about this recent leak it looks like Modern Warfare 2 is getting a rocket league type of game mode and map to celebrate this year's world cup and it's going to be called cod ball so images and videos leaked a couple of nights ago from data miner cod spoil images all that content was dmca'd off twitter already so you actually can't see it anymore i also can't show the footage on screen for obvious reasons this video will get striked but it does show a player riding an atv through a football stadium and the objective just like rocket league is to hit the ball into the opposing team's net now the cod ball mode will feature the footballers neymar jr pogma and messi who will come to the game as operators of course neymar is coming november 21st pogma november 25th and messi on november the 29th now it's predicted that this mode will likely drop when the first operator does november 21st with neymar but there hasn't been any official confirmation of what's going on with Codball just yet. I'm sure we'll get an announcement and some marketing about this on Monday or whenever they do plan on finally releasing it. It could even be a season one reloaded experience. We just don't know. Now it's ironic considering a football stadium is also coming to COD Mobile, right? COD Mobile is also getting this World Cup crossover just in a bit of a different way, but I'm really happy to see we're getting something this unique for the premium Call of Duty as well. Now as the article says, video and images provided to Insider Gaming show players driving around a colorful football pitch inside a football stadium and driving into a massive ball, which shows the victory screen when the player scores, somewhat similar to between s &D rounds. It's currently not known how many players per side the game mode will feature, but let's just hope it's similar to Rocket League with 2-3 to three players per side and not 11. Now, I'm sure this LTM will go away right when Season 1 ends, but maybe they could reuse the stadium for like a gunfight map or something so that they could still save those assets for future use. Now, there have been some other spicy reports popping up regarding future Modern Warfare 2 content. We also have full-fledged gameplay of the new shipment coming during Season 1 Reloaded here for multiplayer. We, of course, got our official image of the shipment remake thanks to the recent Season 1 blog post, but the usual suspects over online 
Online did go ahead and post actual first person gameplay. Can't show you that on screen. Maybe check the description down below for some links to some of these tweets. It's from the usual accounts that we always talk about here on the channel. And the map does look fantastic. I mean, I already love the fact that over in Almazra, you can get a preview of what the map's gonna be like for multiplayer, except with different lighting, different weather. I'm looking forward to how it's gonna play out for 6v6 and other game modes as well. But like I said before, camel grinding couldn't be easier right now. I mean, not only have they fixed some of the challenges, fixed stability, we have Shoot House now with shipment coming in a couple of weeks. Shoot the Ship is gonna be back in its full glory. And on top of that, you don't have to even go for launchers anymore. I mean, they've really improved the entire system, which is why I was saying, don't even rush going for camos, at least not right away at launch. Wait until they fix certain things because without a doubt, the challenges are always tweaked a bit within a couple of weeks before the holidays. So that's when I'm gonna start going for a bunch of these camos in game. And I'll be starting that series probably at some point next week. Now, although the CDL bundle is already live over in Modern Warfare 2, it costs about 10 bucks. That pack is great. It has universal camo, other bonus cosmetics. There's obviously more CDL content coming to the game before the CDL ranked mosh pit. And we got confirmation of the CDL 2023 team packs dropping on November 29th. Obviously some really exclusive skins to represent each of the teams competing in ranked Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer this year. We have a lot of upcoming majors. I'm really excited about that. Kind of want to attend one as well because I absolutely love the competitive scene for Call of Duty. As confirmation and a reminder, Treyarch did have to delay the CDL mosh pit for MW2. It was originally scheduled for Season 1 but has been pushed back for stability purposes. And I'm going to assume that the mode will likely drop either before or during Season 1 Reload and no later than that because we obviously have the full-fledged ranked mode coming in early 2023 in which I'll say it's probably going to be a Season 2 launch mode. But I'm happy that we're getting plenty of CDL content from Modern Warfare 2 before we even get the actual ranked mode that everybody's looking forward to which is coming out early next year. Now we also have a fascinating update regarding Warzone Mobile which fans of just Modern Warfare 2 will also want to listen to because even if you're not interested in playing Verdance Battle Royale on your phone, check this out, right? So there was a private Warzone Mobile event a couple of days ago on November 13th through the 14th. That took place over in London, and unfortunately, some creators that were there ended up breaking embargoes, sharing gameplay and images all over the internet. That's not cool, but based on the information that they posted online, we can now determine that Warzone Mobile will not only feature Verdance BR, but will also feature multiplayer, a gunsmith, two battle royale maps total, and all of that right now is in alpha. It's unclear what the second battle royale map is. Maybe it's Almazra. I highly doubt it's Caldera but it could also be a resurgence scale map like Rebirth or Fortune's Keep. You never know. It's being said that all the same perks, weapons, and streaks from Modern Warfare 2 are also present on Warzone Mobile, which is crazy because we already know about the cross-progression coming with Warzone Mobile early next year where you'll be able to level up your operators, weapons, and battle pass across Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and even Warzone Mobile. I don't think we're going to get cross-play between Warzone Mobile multiplayer and Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer even if both games share the same maps. That will be crazy to see, but but I think at the very least, you'd be able to say that you could play maybe a map like Farm 18 or Crown Raceway on your mobile device using all the same content that you have right now in the premium version of Modern Warfare 2. Now, I know that might be confusing to you considering it's being branded as Warzone Mobile, not Modern Warfare 2 Mobile, but I think it's still the same thing considering the recent announcement that COD 2.0 is this seamless cross progression between MW2, Warzone 2, and then Warzone Mobile. It won't in any way compete with COD Mobile since that'll be in its own category kind of in its own corner with its own roadmaps, battle passes, expansions. That won't be affected at all. That'll still exist and we'll still get updates, but Warzone will be heavily integrated into what COD 2.0 is currently going for. Now, it was also confirmed you can pre-register for Warzone Mobile on iOS since previously it was only allowing you to pre-register on Android. I think development for iOS games are more complicated, which could explain why there was a delay with being able to pre-register on an iPhone or even an iPad. They also mentioned that because they hit 25 million pre-registrations, they are now going to release the Ghost Condemn skin to Warzone Mobile once the game does fully release. But they also mentioned that there will be even more unlocks that are different for every player once we start hitting 35 million registrations. So that sounds pretty interesting. And they also released a trailer for that Ghost Condemn skin, as you can see, kind of rounding up all the rewards that we know of thus far for pre-registering. Now, the iOS App Store does say that the release date for Warzone Mobile is May 15, 2023. I'm going to assume that's a guesstimate as of now. I know other mobile games out there on the App Store that are available for pre-order or pre-registering often have placeholder the release dates on those pages. So I'm not going to take this as fact just yet until Activision does confirm the release date. It was mentioned over at COD Next that Warzone Mobile is coming out in 2023. I mean, that could be any time, but I feel like May is really far away. However, if you look at the fact that people that have been playing the game are saying that all the content is in an alpha state as of now, 
that probably means the game is far away from launching, but I was assuming it would come out maybe in February or March at the latest, but I could be mistaken on that one. Who actually knows? Now, last and definitely not least, there's actually a way to use the Honey Badger right now in Modern Warfare 2, but there's a catch. You can only use it in private matches. So what you want to do is select either the Bash P or the M13, which share the same weapon progression tree or are part of the same receiver as the Chimera Honey Badger. Once you click on one of those weapons, go over to your weapon receiver, and you can then choose the Chimera right there. Now, if you try to go into a private match with it, it'll just spawn you with the default M13. Four, which means you're not supposed to be using the weapon just yet. It's not ready, but you can go to the firing range and go ahead and inspect it. You can shoot it. I don't know if camels actually work when you try to apply them on it. I highly doubt that, but bit of a sneak peek as to what the season one reloaded weapon is going to be, which everybody out there is eagerly waiting for because the honey badger is probably a top 10 weapon of all time for call of duty, at least in my opinion. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on these spicy DLC updates for Modern Warfare 2? How are you feeling about the early gameplay for ship? and even that codball LTM. And what are your thoughts on everything else we discussed? Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.